Hey everybody, welcome back to another Oxygen video. My name is Jonathan and what I'm going to do today is show you how to convert existing content on your page into a Gutenberg block or use Oxygen to create a Gutenberg block of your own from the ground up. Before we get started, I just wanted to let you know that I also have a YouTube channel called Permaslug where you'll find lots of Oxygen and WordPress related content. So to start off with this video, what we're going to do is just go ahead and move into the Oxygen editor. So you can see I have this content already designed on the page here. It's basically just a heading with a column element that contains three divs, some text, and a button. So what I'm going to do is open my structure pane, and I'm going to click the top level item that I actually want to convert to the block. So in this case, I want this entire section that contains all of this content to become my Gutenberg block. So just make sure you have that section selected. Click the little hamburger looking icon and click the button that says copy to block. Now you'll just want to name this something descriptive so that you know what it is in the Oxygen backend and it makes it easy to kind of distinguish it because as time goes on you could get a lot of these in there and you want to make sure that it's named descriptively. So what I'm going to do is call this large heading three column. Just like that. And then you can see there's the blue notification up there in the top left that says you can access this in the Oxygen block library. Let's go ahead and convert this block down here, which is a meet the team section as well. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to click copy to block and I'm just going to name this one meet the team. Now what I'm going to do is actually go ahead and click on save and then return to the WordPress admin. So with Oxygen and the Gutenberg add-on installed, if you mouse over Oxygen, you'll see this new option here that says block library. Both of the elements that we just created into blocks are present here. There's the meet the team and the large heading three column. Now you could go ahead and edit these blocks if you want. And all you have to do is just click on edit and then choose the button that says edit with oxygen if you want to make changes to that. But the point of this is to actually add it to a page using Gutenberg. So let's go to our pages section here and then let's actually create a new page so that we can distinguish it from the home page that we were just working with. I'm going to call this page about us and then let's publish this. And then what we can do here is actually add in our Gutenberg block. So just mouse over this section right here and click this little arrow, scroll down a little bit and you'll see a new section that says oxygen blocks. So what I'll do is just go ahead and put in the meet the team section. And there you can see there's the block we just converted from oxygen to a Gutenberg block. Scroll down here and I'm going to do the same thing again. Just going to kind of do this in reverse order so we can distinguish it the large heading three column, and there it is. So what we can do now is actually start editing this content here in Gutenberg and things like control B for bold will work to bold all the text and that sort of thing. So you can make all of your changes in Gutenberg now. So if I go ahead and update this page again, I'm gonna take a look at this on the front end. So there's our about us page with the blocks we just added using Gutenberg. So that's really great, but what if you want to create your own Gutenberg block from scratch? Well, you can do that by going to the Oxygen block library and then clicking the button at the top that says add new. So again, you want to make sure to name this something descriptive. So why don't we go ahead and create a hero image block so that we can add it to the top of our about us page. So let's just call this hero image and then let's click on publish and then we'll choose edit with oxygen. So what I'm going to start with is a section. So click on add and section. And then under the advanced and the size and spacing button, what you can do is click on this height option here. So if you click the actual pixels, it gives you a number of other options on how to configure the height. So in this case, I'm going to click VH for viewport height, and I'm going to set this to something like 75 VH so that when it's actually on the page, it takes up most of the screen, but not all of it. From here, let's actually go to advanced again and then click the background button and let's find an image to set as our background image. We can just use this nice picture of the beach here. We'll click on select image and then you can configure the positioning of the background image if you want. So again, if you click on this pixel button next to the left and top, this is how you can achieve a background position like center center that you're familiar with. So if you click on this and change it to percentage, if you go 50% from the left and 50% from the top, then that's going to position the photo in the center vertically and the center horizontally to achieve a layout of center center. So now what I'm going to do is add a heading on top and this is just going to be a heading. Let's change this to a white font color and let's crank the size up to like 55 pixels. Let's just change this heading to welcome. We're glad to have you something like that. 
And then what we can do is actually click on the section and change the element layout to stack horizontally so that then our heading can be centered in the middle horizontally and vertically. Now it's a little bit hard to read that font against the background. So there's a couple of things we can do. The first thing I'm gonna do is make sure my section is selected. Go back to the background tab and under image overlay, I'm gonna add a somewhat of a black kind of opaque background so that it makes the font stand out a little bit better. But what we can do is actually add a text shadow to that font as well. So if you click on the heading here, go to advanced, effects and text shadow, then I'm just gonna set the text shadow to black and change the opacity to something more like 30%. And then the horizontal offset, I normally set this at zero pixels, vertical offset at one pixel and the blur at three. So that's a little bit better. Maybe let's actually change the opacity up to more like, make it maybe like 75%. So that does make the text stand out quite a bit better. So let's click on save. And then let's go add this to our about page. So go back to the WordPress admin panel, go to your about page again. And then what I wanna do here is actually add in our Gutenberg block that we just created for our hero image. So let's scroll down again to oxygen blocks and then we're gonna add in hero image. Let's update the page, and then we're going to refresh this page and take a look on the front end. So there is the hero image that we just created as a Gutenberg block using oxygen. So as you can see, it's really straightforward to create your own Gutenberg blocks and also convert existing content in Oxygen to a Gutenberg block. This is a really great way to allow clients or other users that aren't as technical to change content without having to actually touch Oxygen. I hope this video has been helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll look forward to seeing you in a future video.